If you would have told me that four months after we finished our $5 million building project, that the same week we turned 18 months old as a church, that we would hit a global pandemic. And what that would mean for us is that basically for the next six months, not one person could come to church here on Sunday. I don't know if I would have laughed or cried. I don't know how I would have reacted to that. That would have been crazy. But if you would have also told me that in that same period of time, that our church family would continue to give generously, that we wouldn't have to furlough any of our 14 staff, that we would send out our first missionary family to the mission field, that we would start 44 discipleship groups and see 85 people decide to follow Jesus. Church, I would have taken that 10 out of 10 times, no doubt. As we look back to the beginning of the year, we were so excited to jump into this year as we moved into our new home. We started our fourth Sunday service. It was exciting times. And like you in your life, we have had to adapt. We've had to alter expectation. It's been the hardest year in leadership for me, and it's been the hardest year for many of you as well. But I gotta tell you, I really believe that this year has made us stronger. It's made us stronger. I've never seen you fight for each other the way that you have, battle and prayer the way that you have, and give generously the way that you have. It's made us stronger. Even, and even though I feel stronger, we still are ending out the year about 10% under our annual budget that was projected. And so that amounts to a lot of money. We're doing well. People ask all the time, how's the church doing? We're doing really well um, because you're giving generously and we're standing with you and it's awesome. But we want to finish strong. We want to finish strong. We're asking you, church, would you finish strong? Statistics show that in the United States of America, 30% of charitable giving comes in the last 14 days of the year as people consider what they have given and have not yet given. And so as you think about that, we just ask you to consider your church. Consider Captivate. Would you consider what's going on here as you consider what you give at year end? And we know that if we finish strong in 2020, we're going to hit the ground running in 2021. And just consider, man, if we saw all this, if we saw God still move in a crazy year like this in these last 12 months, consider where we could be 12 months from now. I cannot wait to do it with you, church. I'm asking you, let's finish strong. I can't wait to go into next year with you.